we're just playing our style of basketball. Really just what we've been trying to do, uh, move the ball, get open shots, you know, find the open man, get in the post, you know, things we've been working on in practice. We, I think we've been uh, coming out and executing that. Um, like Brandon said, we've just been sharing the ball, getting it out in transition, trying to get easy baskets. Um, we know we're two of the bigger guards in the conference, so, you know, trying to uh, use us not just off of uh, screens and um, uh, down screens, ball screens, stuff like that, but trying to post us up to get us easier baskets. Um, and then sharing the ball and uh, – I think first is starting with good defense, and I think that's what we've been doing, uh, playing really good defense, especially coming off the Winthrop game where we uh, defended poorly. Uh, we wanted to come out here and uh, defend, and I think we did that uh, starting out the game uh, as we got stops and opened up the game. Uh, I don't think so. I think we have a lot more. Uh, we had a lot of lapses, uh, which, we'll, which we'll see on film uh, on the defense end, and then a lot of uh, open jump shots that we missed that we normally make or that we haven't been making that we should be making. Um, and just a lot of easier buckets that we could have gotten and uh, a lot more stops we should have got. So, I mean, I think there's, there's always more in the tank for us, uh, but I think we had a good showing. First, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to to USC Upstate and Dave Dickerson. You know, his team's never quit. I was telling our team when we gave the scouting report that, you know, they, you know, Radford had them down 22, 24 points and came back and cut it to six. You know, they don't quit. They don't give up. And we, we played awfully well in the first half. Um, and we came out of the locker room. I thought we got off to a good start in the second half. But, uh, but again, it's a good win for us. Any win's a good win. But I thought we played extremely well in the first 20, 25 minutes of the game. I thought we had, you know, and Brandon, you know, Cam, you know, he really did a, you know, I was really impressed with his shooting in the first half. And in the, uh, the second half, I don't know what happened there. But he was, you know, he was moving well without the ball. I think once he shot that air ball, it got in his head. But, uh, but a lot of it has to do with, with USC Upstate. They were very aggressive, both at, at defensive and the offensive end uh, in the second half. And um, Dave's team's always played that way uh, wherever he's been. Yeah, we had 15 layups, I think, yeah. uh, 15 or 14 layups at halftime. And that's just phenomenal. And, um, but again, they, they shut it off. But I thought, and again, we had 11 assists, so we were doing the right things. We didn't have before in the second half. Uh, again, I, it was part of their defense, these defensive, defensive adjustments, and our lack of throwing it inside. Uh, because Jordan and Ricky, um, Ricky Madison, Jordan were really having their way inside, and, and we were, you know, dominating the boards and doing a great job there. Uh, but I, I thought. We had that lull where we, we we had some guys in the game and they took us off the dribble and and then we didn't finish around the basket a couple times. In fact, I think they had a couple blocks there on. I think both of them was on. One was on Jihad. Two of them were on Jihad in the second half. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to the rim, should have used the backboard, got it blocked. And he, but otherwise, uh, I thought he did a. We did a good job overall. We just needed to have more assists in the second half. We're a team that we're not a juggernaut scoring. I mean, you would think that we were scored because we had 46 points at halftime. So that means we scored what, 25? Yeah. <laughs> the rest of my case, we better defend because you know we were we were fortunate to be shooting what 58 percent. You're not going to do that every game. I don't care who you play against. It's almost 60 percent. So now you better defend, and we had some breakdowns defensively. But again, our, the guys are really are our rim protectors. We really don't have a rim protector, and that's why we got to play position defense. We have to, and I tell the guys, you know, you're a better basketball player, you're a better athlete when you're in the right spot. And the problem is getting them in the right spot. One guy doesn't want to sag where he, and he's not supposed. He won't sprint back inside, and the guy didn't hedge properly. And that's how people score. So, and that's that's how they scored in the second half. That's how they scored. They outscored us 34 to 25. Uh, so defensively, we better defend. And we will, because I'm going to shuffle until I find somebody's going to defend. And 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 we're getting better. Our, our perimeter people have, have gotten better, because that's been our real Achilles heel, in defensively. And um, and if I can just get them to concentrate. Because they got a lot of balls, they got a lot of shots at the basket 
inside in the second half. They were trying in the first half, they just wouldn't fall. And we were really doing a better job of contesting. 